So sit down and pretend you're doing something of, of significance. Oh, I can see your red jacket. Yeah, I, I, I could not do this door. Welcome to Odometer Dave, where we help make every mile count with tips and how-tos for RVing and road tripping. Today, it's all about wet baths. We're gonna look at four different wet baths in the Little Guy Max, the new Camp Tab 400, the Intex Soul Series, and that's not a wet bath in the uh, Rockwood Geo Pro. And as a bonus, we'll look at a dry bath in the Rockwood Geo Pro, which is a similar size to these trailers. Let's go. In a previous video, we talked about the challenges of using the wet bath in a 1999 Chinook concourse. It's really difficult to imagine taking a shower in a bathroom this size. There's just not enough space to turn around. Now we're searching for the right trailer to tow with our Jeep Grand Cherry Trailhawk, which has a maximum towing capacity of 6,200 pounds. I'll talk about this more in a future video, but what that really means is we need a trailer with a gross vehicle weight rating of less than 5,000 pounds. A lot of trailers in this weight class have wet baths, so we're looking for one that'll work for us. First up is the 19-foot Soul Horizon made by Intec RV. It's got this retro futuristic design made out of fiberglass and an open floor plan with a 29 by 44 inch wet bath. We really like the design of the sole, but there's one thing we're not crazy about. Just imagine that door squealing in the middle of the night when you're trying not to wake up your partner. Of all the trailers we looked at this day, the Intex bath felt the most spacious partly because there's no sink. Oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, there's no sink. But maybe we could work around that? You could probably wash your hands with the shower. <laughs> but That's I think, true. But I think, yeah, you are relying on the kitchen sink. Yeah, although you're right if you felt like you wanted to wash your hands. Well, what's nice is it's really easy to move around in here. Yeah. The lighting is nice, too. You got these pockets to put your shampoo in. Yeah. And there's a fan. We like the size and feel of the Horizons wet bath. If I close this, there's a mirror. But they've got to do something about the squealing door. Wow, that door is just intense. Well, it probably loosens up. Next, we looked at the shorter 17-foot Soul Eclipse. <laughs> Even though it's two feet shorter than the Horizon, Intec kept the wet bath the same size, 29 by 44 inches. But at six foot four, the interior height of the Eclipse is two inches less. You're gonna notice the bathroom. You can stand up in it. You can move around in it. You're not gonna fall over. Again, you're younger if it's an issue. I get some older guys. Oh, so. I don't know. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they don't bend real good anymore. <laughs> yeah, so can I? I have to duck a little bit, but... So the wet bath pros and cons remain the same in the Eclipse. There's plenty of room to move around, but still no sink, and that squealing door. And then there's the 16-foot Soul Dawn, which feels a lot bigger than it looks. The wet bath is still 29 by 44 inches, but it moves to the back corner. The bathroom's in the back rather than the center, okay? So you're gonna have to duck a little more to use the bathroom. Mm. All right. Oh yeah. So even though the floor area is the same, the Dawn's wet bath feels smaller because of the sloping roof. Is that a lot lower now? It is. Too low? I mean, I'd be doing a sit down shower for yes. sure, yeah. We love the overall design of the Intex soles, but a fold-down sink over the toilet could make them even better. I also like that everything in these wet baths is truly designed to get wet. There's no wood to worry about. Oh man, that door. Next up is the 21-foot Little Guy Max. We love the teardrop design and the amazing amount of storage in the Max. There's just something about it. The Little Guy Max is two feet longer than the sole, but it's also a foot and a half narrower. And at 41 and a half by 26 and a half inches, the wet bath is a bit more cramped. This is the bath, which it is so weird that there's a glass door, even though it's frosted. 
Well, you could do a, a contact paper that's a solid color, maybe. That can get wet? Yeah, that, they have they have that, don't they? Okay. Or a, a waterproof wallpaper. I can stand up in it almost entirely. <laughs> the interior height of the Max is 6'7", but the bath is only 6'2". It's definitely livable. I'm 6'1", by the way. Um, this is the only f ceiling fan that's in the unit, um, which is why there's this air gap over the door. So sit down and pretend you're doing something of, of significance, and I'm going to go over on... Uh, I'm going to sit down here and tell me, like, how you feel looking up at that gap. I'm right here. I'm working. Oh, I can see your red jacket. Yeah, I... I... I could not do this door. I just... Okay, what if the door was painted? How do you feel about that gap? Um, I feel fine about the gap. Because this fan is always going to be on. Oh, that's true. Uh, the, the one nice thing about the, the clear door is that it brings in a lot of light. Because there is no window in here other than the... Right. The I think to shower... Oh, I could stand up and shower in here. Well, and can't we just paint it on the outside? Yeah. Instead of the inside? Yeah, I, I think there's... There's solutions. Uh, solutions. How do we feel about there not being a sink in here? Uh, I don't feel great about it. So I've been in the bathroom, you come out, you're like, don't touch anything. And I'm like, I'm cooking some and food right like, here. Oh God, I've got to lift up Ew, this. Ew, yeah. Ooh, don't touch the mask. <laughs> you know, now I can wash my hands. And of course, there's going to be all sorts of other stuff here because you're. I'm camping. cooking, yeah, and we're cooking and camping. But I, I feel like that is something you could work around and find a comfort level with. Ultimately, right? Because ultimately, we're camping. We're not living in here full time. Right. Is there any way to like rig a little like brushing your teeth kind of situation? Like, <laughs> you know, it would be cool if it had at the back here. Something like the little embedded sink that was in the Chinook. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's all it would need. Yeah, that it would encroach, it would push the toilet away, but. I have some kind of setup where I've got some stuff hanging. I get my toothbrush. Can I just do like a tiny bit of water? You know, brush, brush, brush. Uh -huh. Ew, spit on the floor? Spit in the, sink, in the toilet. Spit in the toilet. <laughs> And then kind of rinse again, like if you if you finessed it right, so you just had a little drizzle of water. I mean, you could do it. Yeah. You know, like. But would you have to? Well, you wouldn't have to. But I'm just saying, like, if you were in a situation where you were like, I don't want to. He's doing something else out there. I want to just be able to brush my teeth and not, um, you know. And I'd probably want to put a little mirror in somewhere with a little... Mm -hmm. Like, there's no store. There's no storage for bathroom stuff. Yeah, you could hang stuff on the door. True. Um, which you'd want to remove to take a shower. Right. But then you just so then flip it to... You flip it to the other side. Oh, right. I guess I would want to hang... I would want some kind of permanent rack of some kind. Yeah. That's... Like what we have in our bathroom now. Yeah. Home. And, you know, it's it's could potentially get wet, but it's like bay maybe up here somewhere yeah. where it's away from it's least likely. We came away feeling really good about the little guy Max, but we'd have to do something about the lack of privacy and figure out ways to add more bathroom storage. Next we have another sweet teardrop, the New Camp Tab 400. At 18.3, it's almost three feet shorter than the little guy Max, but the space is designed really well. The five-sided bath is roughly 47 wide and 30 to 36 inches deep, but the sink and the overhead storage cut into that space. One thing we love about the Tab 400 is the excellent cabinet work. There's a ton of storage up in those cubbies, and somehow the space feels a lot bigger than it actually is. And how about this clever solution? Got a drop-down sink. Yes, we can finally wash our hands in the bathroom. And word is that these new sinks drain better than in previous models. The 400's peak interior height is six foot seven, so I have no problem standing up in here. One thing I'm not crazy about is the plastic Thetford toilet. And really, this is a dry wet bath because the shower curtain keeps most of the space dry. 
along with any towels on those hooks. Pro tip, to prevent the curtain from sticking to you, close the vent over the exhaust fan while you shower. The air will blow down and push the curtain away from you. When you're done, open the vent to exhaust to the outside. For us, the drop-down sink and the built-in storage really set the Tab 400 apart. And by the way, if you want more space, you can ask New Camp to leave out the drop-down sink. Finally, we've been really curious about the Rockwood Geo Pro, so we checked out this 20-foot rear dinette model. This compact floor plan allows for two full-size sleeping areas, plus a decent-sized dry bath complete with a small tub. The trade-off is that the design and materials wow. just aren't as nice as the other trailers we looked at. But the space and the storage is really impressive. So yeah, this is the one dry bath. Like this little, you could wash the dog in there. <laughs> I don't know if you could even stand in there. The, um... I can stand in here because the, um, yeah. the sunroof gives a little extra. That's not a vent. Right, the vent is over here. Right, oh, that's interesting. Fakey plastic. Yeah. Um, but it is nice to have like this. This feels like a nice contained yeah. area for water, which yeah. none of the other bathrooms, because they're wet baths, the water just goes everywhere. If you're looking for a compact trailer that has a true dry bath, it's hard to beat the value this GeoPro offers. It definitely feels like more of a long term space. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming full reviews of the Intex Soul, the Little Guy Max, and the Tab 400 Solo. And leave us a comment, we love hearing from you. Oh, that's nice. You know, I could see just having some little simple...